Hey guys, Darren here from Celebrity Tributes. Today's video is a tribute video to Will & Grace star Leslie Jordan. I hope you do like the video. If you do, please like, subscribe and comment down below. Leslie Jordan was born on April 29th, 1955 in Chattanooga, Tennessee to parents Peggy and Alan. His father was a major in the US Army Reserves and died in a plane crash with two others at Camp Shelby, Mississippi on March 31st, 1967, when Leslie was only 12 years old. He moved to Los Angeles in 1982 when he became involved in drugs and alcohol, being arrested several times. He overcame his addiction over time. In an interview in 2010 on the Wendy Williams talk show, he spoke of a time where he once shared a cell with Robert Downey Jr. Later on, when they both appeared on Ally McBeal, Downey Jr. recognised him but couldn't put a finger on where he had met him first. But going back to where his career started, it all began when he appeared as Malone in The Fall Guy in 1986. He quickly found his place appearing in The Night Court, Murphy Brown, Newhart, Perfect Strangers, Bodies of Evidence and Wings. He later appeared in Alan, Dharma and Greg, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Ally McBeal, Boston Public, Reba and American Dad, and his most recent and iconic roles were in American Horror Story, Will and Grace, and The Cool Kids. His final role was starring in Call Me Cat when he played the role of Phil. He also did work in theatre and his first autobiographical stage show was called Hysterical Blindness and Other Southern Tragedies That Have Plagued My Life Thus Far, which included satirical songs about racism and homophobia and ran for seven months. He was openly gay and became involved in the AIDS Project LA, and was a food delivery person for Project Angel Food. He released a gospel music album called Companies Coming in 2021, and at the time of his death he had amassed 5.8 million Instagram followers in response to his comedy posts during the COVID-19 pandemic. On October 24th, 2022, at approximately 9.30am, he was driving en route to film scenes at the Call Me Cat set. His car hit the side of a building in Hollywood after what was believed to be a medical episode. He was pronounced dead at the scene at the age of 67 years old. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.